To add a Turnitin assignment to your Moodle page, first turn Editing on. Navigate to the Assessment and Feedback section. Click on Add an Activity or Resource. Scroll down until you see the Turnitin activity and click on it. Give the assignment a name. It's good practice to ensure that the name is consistent with information given in module guides. In the summary, you can add any instructions students need to know before submitting, or that might help students more confidently identify the right activity. If you click on this tick box, then the summary information will appear on the Moodle page with the activity. Your assignment can include up to five separate parts, each requiring a separate upload. The default file size limit is 100 megabytes. This limit is set by Turnitin and can't be increased. However, it is important to note that Turnitin is intended for written assignments. It doesn't handle images or media content well. For submissions that are purely text-based, 100 megabytes should be more than enough. Anonymous marking is enabled by default. If you're setting up a formative assignment or a dissertation assignment, you can disable this here. By default, the Turnitin assignment is set to be graded out of 100 points. You can change the maximum score if you want to adjust the weighting for the assignment. If your assignment is pass-fail, you can change the point grading to scale and select the pass-fail scale. If your assignment is formative or not graded, you can select None. The number of sections for assignment parts is dependent on the number of parts you selected for the assignment above. If you left this at the default one part, there'll only be one section to complete. If you selected two parts, there'll be two sections to complete. Give each part a name, and then set the submission times. The start date is the date from which the students will be able to submit assignments. So if I set this start date for 22nd of May, then the students will not be able to submit assignments until that date. The due date is the deadline for submissions. This deadline should be the same as any deadlines published in your module guides and should be set for a day and a time that ensures that students will have access to any support they might need at the point of submission. So, for example, don't set the submission for a Friday when they might not be able to access support until after the weekend and therefore lose the late submission window. Similarly, don't set the submission for 5pm or the evening when there'll be no one around to contact if they run into any problems. The post date is the point after which the grades and feedback are released to students and any anonymity is lifted. So this date is normally set to a point after the marking and moderation has completed. You'll notice that each separate part has its own max marks. Whatever grades are given for individual parts will be aggregated for the overall mark. So for example, say you have two parts, each with max marks of 100. A student gets 50% for one part and 70% for the second part. If the overall max marks for the assignment are set to 100, then the student's overall grade will be 60%. Similarly, a student might get 60% for the first part and not submit anything for the second part. Well, then the student's overall grade will be 30%. You can adjust this weighting by changing the max marks for the individual parts. In the Similarity Report section, the first option is whether you're going to allow students to submit the work after the due date. By default, this is set to Yes, to allow students to submit within the 24-hour late period allowed by assessment regulations. Any submission that's made after this due date can be easily identified because it will appear as red and the submission date and time will appear next to it. By default, all student papers uploaded to Turnitin will be added to Turnitin's repositories. This means that the uploaded document will be used to match against any future submissions. If you're using Turnitin for formative or draft work, it may be a good idea to change this setting to No Repository. 
ensuring that the assignments uploaded will not be used for later similarity checks. Exclusion of bibliographies and quoted material is turned off by default. This is because Turnitin is not the most reliable at identifying either. Similarly, it is not recommended to specify the exclusion of small matches, which can have varying impact depending on the word count. Rubrics can be created using the Rubric Manager. If you want to know more about how to set up Rubrics in Turnitin, please see our playlist covering Turnitin in more detail. You can schedule in advance when the activity is visible or hidden using the Restrict Access settings. To do this, click on Add Restriction. There are different options for adding restrictions. In this example, we'll use dates. If we want to set a restriction that means that the assignment will be invisible to students until a certain date, I can specify that the student must be looking at the page from or after this specific date. This will mean that until this date, the assignment will still show to students, but they won't be able to access it until the date requirement is met. Now, if I click on the small i icon, this will mean that the activity will be entirely hidden from students until the date set. I can add multiple conditions. For example, hiding the activity after a certain date. It's always useful to set some completion criteria for your assignment. This will provide both you and your students with an easy way to track what work has been submitted. If I set the activity as needing to be manually checked by students and set the expected date as the assignment deadline, then the assignment will show in the completion block as blue when still needing to be completed, green when completed, and red when overdue. To find out more about completion tracking, see our video on completion tracking, which is linked in the top corner. When you've finished setting up your assignment, click on Save and Return to Course. If you have multiple assignments that you need to set up in the same way, you can duplicate your first assignment by clicking on the three dots next to the activity and selecting Duplicate. You can then edit the assignment settings, changing the name and submission dates, knowing that all the other settings will be the same.